Hello everyone! Um, you can see by my lovely sticker here, I'm not sure you can, it says I'm a stationary addict. Now um, I've been lucky enough to be chosen to be one of the uh, ambassadors for National Stationery Week which is happening between the 25th of April and the 1st of May. Um, I know it's a little while away but I've been lucky enough to be sent some uh, lovely products by some of the sponsors of National Stationery Week so I thought I'd take the opportunity to show some of them off to you so um, maybe you can go and get some stationery yourself ahead of National Stationery Week. Now the theme of National Stationery Week is writing matters. So of course what do you need for writing? You need pens, pencils and notebooks. So what I'm going to start off with is the notebooks from the new notebooks. Now the first one I got sent was uh, the Elite A7 Jotter. Now actually my eight-year-old daughter has been making good use of this already because she's claimed this as her spelling book. Now the good thing is about this is that each page, I'll, I'll give you an example, actually, I'd say give you an example, tears out. So when you're finished with it, you can get rid of it so that you get a nice clean fresh page without old pages getting in the way. And what is also good is that it's a magnetic clasp to open and close so that it won't flap around in your bag. And it's actually an ideal size for uh, my eight year old to pop in their school bag as well, which is fab. The next notebook I got sent is um, the Studio Journal from New. Now, um, I've not actually used this yet, but uh, I'm one for buying a lot of notebooks, and as soon as I get some lists, I will be using this. Again, the nice thing about this is that um, you can close it up with the elastic around it to keep it nice and tidy. Double-sided pages, writing pages, so that there are plenty of room in there for whatever you want. I personally like using my notebooks for writing lots and lots of lists. Now the last notebook that I've been sent, which I love just from the cover, is this one, the Craze. Now again, it's a nice size, this is actually perfect for um, schoolwork and things, homework, because it gives you plenty of room um, for writing things down. Um, I think what I'm going to use this for is my eldest for her to do her maths homework in. Um, now on to some colouring bits. Now I couldn't show off the pens and the pencils without doing a bit of colouring in one of my colouring books. So I'll just show you an example of just how the pens and pencils work. Lovely, vibrant colours, really easy to use. And then um, the fab thing, I actually, I've, I've used these bit colouring pens before. Well, I say me, the kids have. They're washable and um, when they leave the lids off, they don't dry out like some pens. So they're not thrown in the bin straight away if they've left the lids off. They're fab. And then... Um, I love these pencils. Um, they're quite deceiving actually because if you look at the like the colouring, they look quite vibrant, but they come out quite a pastely shade on the on the pages. But they're quite nice because they're they're soft to hold, and then um, you don't have to press down too hard to get the colour to come out, which is really nice. So they're actually they're good for kids as well. Um, next up, I've got a few to open. So I haven't opened them yet. Uh, I've got these pencils, and I've got this set of pens now these pens will be going to my daughter to pop in a pencil case these pencils um i don't know if you've anyone's used them before i actually use these a lot oh, when i was at school you've got like the 2h the 2b these are fab for artwork um if you like drawing if you like shading in these are great pens for that and um, I, I highly recommend them because i use them a lot now this set that we've got what i like about these is it's the um You've got the triangular ends, which are actually, if you don't realise, what the triangular shape makes it a lot more comfortable to hold. And this is, um, is actually really good for people that are maybe a bit dyspraxic or dyslexic. I know um, when my little brother was little, he had to get an extra thing to put on pens to give it that triangular shape to make them more comfortable to hold. I'll show you there. I'm not sure you can see the shape properly, but it makes it. A lot more comfortable and um, I personally being left-handed as well for some reason it, it makes a huge difference now in this set you get three ballpoint pens you get highlighter I love highlighting things and you also get a fine nibbed pen which is perfect for writing as well now the other set I've been sent graph pens do you know what I've never used these before but um, you get blue red green and black 
and um, I've also been sent this funky ink pen which um, I'm actually saving for my eldest daughter. Now surprisingly enough she's not started using ink pens yet. I remember being, I mean she's 10, I remember being that age and already having to use an ink pen and I always used to struggle with ink pens because of being left handed but you can see it's a very very girly pen but it's um, very stylish which uh, is not a bad thing. And the last one I got sent, which I feel it's a shame to take it out of the box, it's so nicely displayed, is um, this biro. But we'll open it up and let you see it anyway. Again, very nice. I think, again, more girly orientated than I am a girl, so I'm not complaining. Um, but again, I think I want to keep it in the box to keep it nice. But there we go, that's from um, some of the sponsors. I'll show you down the bottom there on my bit of paper. You can see there all the sponsors listed there. Do check them out on uh, Twitter and Facebook because uh, everyone will be running all sorts of giveaways during National Station Week. I will also leave in the comments below some of the hashtags that you can follow during National Stationery Week so you can keep up to date for all the news and all the giveaways because you don't want to miss out on them, especially if you're a station addict like me. Um, but in the meantime, do hit that like button, do comment and tell me what kind of station review you like, and I hope you subscribe, and I'll see you in National Stationery, 25th of April to the 1st of May. Bye!